Now, if you're in the market looking for some wireless headphones that are active noise canceling and also have great audio quality, well, let's say better than great, like amazing audio quality, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. This is EVP Man Tech Reviews, and today we're gonna to take a look at an unboxing review of the Sennheiser Momentum wireless earbuds. This is the third generation. Let's get right to it. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. We're gonna do an EVP Man call quality test. We're gonna do an active noise canceling test. We're gonna take a look at all the features. I'm gonna share with you what my experience is on the audio quality, all that in the next couple minutes. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now the unboxing for this product is pretty straightforward because all you have inside the box is this um, flexible case. I'm using flexible in a nice way. Uh, so this is a case that in no way is crush proof. Uh, this is a case that I'll tell you, um, at first I'm a little disappointed uh, given the price point for these headphones that Sennheiser would create something like this that would be this this type of case because you know I'm a frequent traveler. I travel um, about eight hours a week on a plane and this is not gonna survive in an overhead where people are throwing things on top of you. It's gonna get crushed. This will not survive putting underneath the seat of your plane. It's gonna get crushed. Um, and again, if you're a business traveler, I'd be concerned about this case because this is, again, the most, you know, it's not, it's not crush proof in any way. So I would expect that something like this would be crush proof uh, for Sennheiser. Now, as you take a look at what's inside the, the container here, there's a couple more things that you have. Throw that aside. You have a USB-C to USB a audio cable, and then what you have is um, yeah, uh, USB-C to USB-C. You also have some user guides and some miscellaneous stuff that comes with this, but we won't pay attention to that. But this is actually everything that you find um, inside of the box and with this uh, travel case, which is a little disappointing. So next, let's talk about specs. We'll take a look at the battery life and we'll continue our review. Now Sennheiser reports 17 hours of battery life when using these headphones. These headphones do not have an on-off switch, so they turn on just like Jabra does when you open them up, so we'll leave them closed for a second. Now 17 hours is what they claim. I've seen 13 to 15 hours depending on the volume level and the features that I've been using, so it's staying really close. Now they do have quick charging technology. Now with the quick charging technology, you're gonna get in 10 minutes, 1.5 hours of usage, which is pretty great. Now, as they compare to the Sony M3s and the Bose 700s, those still have far better battery life. But let's face it, if you're looking at Sennheiser, you're looking at it because of the audio quality, not because of the battery life. Now one extra feature that these headphones have that no other headphones have is integration with Tile. So that means that you can actually find these headphones uh, if you misplace them somewhere in your home using uh, built-in Tile integration technology. Now taking a closer look at the headphones and the overall construction. So the band is pretty flexible. You have some memory foam here. If you look at this, you have some memory foam here. It has a spacer here, and I, I believe that the spacer is here to allow for cooling over your head. These are a little bit heavier than some of the other headphones I have, so having this spacer here does keep it cooler when it's resting on your head. Now, the other thing that you'll notice that they went with kind of like a modern slash retro look, so you have you know, your wires are exposed, so you can see them right here on each side. On the inside, you'll notice that the cups each have a label, right and left. Uh, they do not fold out though, right? So they have some flexibility, so they move like this, but they do not fold out, and that's kind of a miss. I wish they actually did that. On the sides, you'll notice that you can slide them up, and you can slide them down, and they're friction based, right? So you don't tighten any knobs. All you do is as you move them up and down, they'll basically lock in place. Now, one thing I'll highlight is this area here. So notice these claps. I'll tell you, taking it out, I grabbed it like this and opened it, and I hope Sennheiser is watching. Look at that. That's the cut I got by just uh, opening it up. So be careful because this does have sharp edges right here on the side, and I guess I'll say these actually bite. So it bit me on the side there, and you can see how it drew a little blood. Uh, so um, again, uh, the sides right there, this is how it closes. And then as soon as you open it up, you hear the power on message. Now, you have some memory foam, right? I did not experience any overheating. Uh, I have with others. 
The earpieces themselves are large enough where they cover my ear or my ears is found inside them really nicely. And then uh, as you can see here, you have all of your buttons are present. And the nice thing is I'll leave this label here. You do have the ability to turn on your transparency mode. Notice this is on off. And this is just controlled by pushing down. It looks like you'd push in, but it's actually a button that goes down. You have your volume, you have your play, pause, and answer for audio. You have um, volume reducing here. You have, if you press and hold this, you can get into pairing mode and then you have voice assistant. I actually appreciate this. Uh, this is really nice because I think a lot of people have a hard time understanding which buttons to press to get things paired and I like the little guide there. It's really great. You don't have to look at the book. You can just put these on your head and you can make them go just by looking at that. On this side, you'll notice that the construction is pretty similar. It has this kind of retro finish and then you have the uh, Sennheiser logo on each side. If you want to see what these look like on, what I'm going to do is I'll put them on in a second. But before we do that, I just want to highlight USB-C connector here and there's your aux cable there. And if you do run out of power, you can use these um, without power to listen to music. Now before I put these on, one thing I wanted to highlight is that they do have auto pause capability. So as soon as you put them on, they'll start playing music. Let me put this on like this. All right. So here I have them on, and again, if you had some tunes that you were listening to, they're basically going to start up as soon as you put them in your ear. So let me show you what they look like going to the right, and let me show you what they look like going to the left. All right? And again, you do have some space here, but it's not really, really large. You do have on these sides this metal that's coming down, but this is the kind of look that you're going to have when you're wearing these. Now, Again, they're a little bit heavier than I would say the Sony's and the Bose. They tend to be on the lighter side. And I've used these on a plane ride, you know, for four hours and I was able to deal with them. Uh, you know, it really all depends on the type of commute that you're going through. Uh, the one thing I'm a little concerned about is because since these are metal and there's a metal finish on each side, uh, if you do rest your head on the side of a plane like, uh, like a lot of business travelers do where they may fall asleep or you're on the bus and you rest on the side, it's gonna be interesting to see over time how much scratching it picks up on each side and if there's any denting that comes from it. But this is what they look like on. Now, as we take a look at Bluetooth, they support Bluetooth 5.0, and the neat thing about these is that they have multi-pair technology. So just like the Bose, they are able to connect to two devices at the same time, and they're able to switch. Unfortunately, Sony doesn't do that, but these definitely rock when it comes to multi-pairing technology. Now, the headphones also support the major codecs. So aptX, SBC, and AEC are supported. Now the Sennheiser Momentums also have active noise canceling in addition to the passive. So when you put them over your ears, you're gonna get a passive noise uh, experience. When you turn on active noise canceling, that's also going to enhance um, the blocking of noise around you. Now you're gonna have three modes. So it has three modes that you can configure to get different levels of active noise canceling. And they also are using four mics that are picking up the noise around you and what they're doing is also canceling that so you can get the best audio experience as well as drown out any kind of external distractions. Now the headphones also support transparency mode or ambient mode like some people call it. All you do is you push this button down and you're gonna be able to hear everything around you. But the hearing isn't super hearing, it's basically natural hearing. So you're gonna hear everything around you, it's not augmented, but what you can do is if you install the app, and I do recommend you do, because the app will give you the ability to hear everything around you while listening to music at the same time. So make sure you install the app and I'll show you where you can find that setting. So next let's talk about audio quality and let's face it, they're Sennheisers. They're gonna sound absolutely amazing. And Sennheiser, the Momentum 3s sound amazing. You have great bass, you have great mids and highs. Um, it's Their sound signature is fantastic. The one thing I will mention though is that it does favor the warm side. You do have an equalizer that you can manage things, but what you'll really like about these is the clarity regardless of, the, of what you're listening to. If you favor things with bass, you'll love these. If you favor things that have mids and highs or you're more focused on the high side, you'll love these as well because you can do some adjustments. You don't hear any of the audio dr drowning out um, any other part, so it has a really wide sound signature. And I just wanna share with you some of the songs I was listening to. So this is what I typically use for my audio test tracks. So if you notice here, I just wanna highlight Raw. Uh, from uh, This is from uh, Singrid. So Raw starts out with vocals, and then there is bass that comes in. And I want to tell you, if you listen to that track, I encourage you to check it out, because there comes a point, just a couple seconds in to the song, where you actually hear the bass coming in, because it starts with the vocal, and then boom, the bass comes in. And I'll tell you, the bass sounds like thunder. It sounds like, it's, it's, it's like one of those big drums goes boom. It is so immersive. The sound stage on these are great. And as I listen to each one of these, when I listen to Midnight Blues, also 
you know, when the bass came in, the voice wasn't missed, but the bass was just there, really nice and present. Uh, I was listening to False Confidence from Noah, uh, uh, and again, it was just great. You know, the vocals start in, we started with one voice, then we had some other voices come in, then we heard some more instruments, and you could tell every single instrument as they came in. Fantastic, fantastic audio quality. So once again, if you're a Sennheiser fan, or if you've never been a Sennheiser fan, if you're looking for something that has fantastic audio, then the Sennheiser you know, Momentum 3s are definitely the way to go. So now if you, so next let's talk about the audio. And you know what, guess what? These are Sennheisers. They're gonna be amazing. And guess what, they are. Now next let's talk about the audio quality. How do these sound? Well. You know, they are Sennheisers and they do live up to the Sennheiser brand. They actually have a fantastic sound signature with the broad sound stage. They, uh, the basses are great, the mid is, is great, highs, everything is present. And it was very immersive. So the sound stage really reproduced well everything that I listened to. I didn't have any problems with anything being drowned out. And I like listening to tracks where I start with vocals and then I have bass or other instrumentation come in. Or I start with um, instru instruments and then I bring in the vocals because I like to see how everything uh, sets in each of its different uh, settings. And one of the things I'll share with you is kind of like the music I was listening to. So let me just show you one thing. So I was listening to Raw and Syngrid starts out, the vocal starts out, which just the vocalist starts saying, but then there comes a point where bass comes in just a few seconds into the track and the bass sounded like thunder I literally it was like boom it was very very uh, very very throaty the bass but also at the same time uh, the voice of the person who was singing wasn't drowned in any way now the same thing was with Midnight Blues these are some of the songs that I listen to Sedona thinking out loud I also look at Lorelei uh, Colorado. In the last one, uh, Charlie, th this was great because there is also with this one, you have the vocalist starts, you have music coming in, and then you have snapping of fingers. And the snapping of fingers was just delightfully clear. And you could hear the person singing, you can hear the snapping of the fingers. It's just great reproduction. So if you're interested in having, again, a Sennheiser experience when it comes to audio, um, I don't mean to gush over them, but they sound great. So now let's take a closer look at the app just to give you a sense of what you'll find. So the app is going to tell you a lot about your Sennheiser Momentum 3s. Uh, first of all, you can determine if your active noise canceling is on and you can do some adjustments here. You can also work with transparent hearing. And this is the area I mentioned. You want to turn on uh, keep playing music when transparent hearing is on. That way, if you turn it on, like if I'm walking through the airport and I'm listening to music, I want to keep the music going but also hear what's going on around me. So I would turn this feature on so I can hear both. Either you also have an equalizer and here you can adjust the equalizer. You swipe this way to get more bass, you swipe that way to get more treble, and then you can adjust anywhere in between. Uh, you'll also go into this app to uh, get your firmware update. So here you have your firmware version. Um, I've had the latest firmware. There is a firmware version update as soon as you install it. And you also go to this area to reset. You also have the function of turning on uh, the uh, smart pause. So again, when you take them off, they're going to turn off. When you put them back on, they'll start playing right where you left off. Now before wrapping up the app, I just want to show you one more thing about the active noise canceling. So in active noise canceling, you have three settings. Anti-pressure, so if you ever find that when you turn on active noise canceling, you get pressure in your ears or your head, this is something that you'll be able to use. You also then have anti-wind, and then the last setting is max, and that's the maximum noise cancellation. We're gonna test this in a couple seconds. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is a call quality test. We're simulating 360 noise around us. You can see that the decibel ratings go anywhere from 63 to 83. It's all high, and you can see what the ratings are. Let's go ahead and switch to the audio coming from the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. Now, this is what the call quality would sound like if you were having a phone call with someone in a noisy environment. Let me know what you thought about the call quality of the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the video. We're going to test active voice canceling, active voice canceling, and transparency. I think we'll do it faster, transparency. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the active noise canceling, transparency mode, and then active noise canceling. Let's go and try that. I'm going to stay quiet for a second. And as you can see here, Alright, so now on this task, what we're going to do is we're going to test the active noise. 
Now this test, we're going to test the passive noise canceling, we're going to test transparency mode, and we're going to test active noise canceling. As you can see here, we have anywhere from you know 30 all the way up to 80 decibels. So this is a pretty noisy environment. And what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to the transparency mode so you can hear what's inside of the headset. So first I'm going to stay quiet so that you can hear the passive, and then we'll switch to transparency mode. Right now we are in max noise canceling, so I'm going to stay quiet and I'm going to swipe from each one of the settings so you can hear the difference. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Sennheiser Momentum 3s. What did you think about the call quality? What did you think about the active noise canceling? What did you think about the other features? Let me know. We'd love to hear from you in the comment area below.